Hey everybody out here. I had to wash my hair. Couldn't take it. It didn't uh, fall exactly the way that I like it, but that's okay. Once my bangs grow out, I'm just going to have it in a nice long braid. It's going to be beautiful. Anyhow, I'm just having another awesome van life day. Oh, this is going to drive me crazy. I need to get some hair clips or something. So, guess what I'm doing? I'm just doing typical things that you might do if you lived in sticks and bricks. Uh, well, here, let me show you. See that? I just agitated a load of laundry. And uh, I did it for about 15 minutes. And um, I checked through all the clothes. They look perfectly clean. I didn't even have to use a scrub brush. So now I'm just going to let it drain for a little bit there while I do some other stuff. And um, I'll squeeze them out a little bit better this time. And then I'll put them through the rinse cycle. So what else am I going to do? Gosh, you know what? Um, this right here, that carpeting is still yucky. I did brush it out. So much dog hairs. I am going to leave this space open. I am totally going to leave this space open. Um, over there is the other cooler. It's empty right now. I put a little folded blanket on it so Betty can kind of relax, you know, on it this way instead of like she was this way. Um, I've got a bag with some supplies underneath there. But yeah, I'm going to clean this area out really super good because it's kind of nasty. And just be able to walk back and forth <laughs> between the cab, the front and the back. And then at bedtime, all I do is I close these curtains. I close them a little bit better than that. I did have three here, and really, I don't need three curtains. I just need the two. So just trying to tidy that up a little bit. Um, let's see. Anything else? Oh, look at the girl. Oh, she is sucking on the blanket. Oh, I hate it when she does that because it gets all slobbery. And she does it right by where I like to sit. I love you still, but don't suck on the blanket. It's gross. Cycle draining. And yes, you can do this completely inside the van. I've done it before. It's just nice outside, and I'm kind of parked in a remote area, so nobody's going to be watching me do this. So yeah, what in the... Letting the rinse cycle drain. I'll squeeze them out a little bit better. And you know what? I think I'm just going to hang them up all around outside. Because literally nobody comes back here. Well, that big blue tank is almost empty. So, it's time to go to the river. And get me some more water. This is going to be interesting. Okay, I think I could get down to up by this tree and kind of cast the bucket out that way. Um, I wonder if I can do this while I'm filming, holding the bucket and trying to get down. I'm probably going to end up breaking, breaking my neck or something. Ooh. Huh. I keep hearing something falling and then go thud. It's probably those big nut thingies that are on the trees. I don't know. Is that what it is? Is it the chupacabra? I don't know. It's coming from back there. Okay, so now the idea is for me to attach this bucket to this rope, throw it out there, and just get as much water as I can. Uh, gotta have two hands to do this, so let's see if Anne's Tiny Life can do this. On the count of three, one, two, three. Oh, now look at that. Would you see what I did? I, I let go of part of it. That was stupid. Well, I got me some water. Let me see if I get over a little bit closer to the edge. This is, this is going to be hard to get up. I need a GoPro or something. Alright, well, I had to toss it in there a couple, two, three times, and yeah, it looks gross, there's bugs in it, but I'm going to filter it. So, I think this is a six-gallon bucket, got it about half half full. Uh, 
I think that's about the best I'm going to be able to carry back to camp anyhow. So I'm going to go filter this now. And it's filter time. I'm going to do it directly into my big blue tank. And I've got this little, this little, you know, sifter thingy so that, you know, little bugs can't get in when I'm not looking and whatnot. And here's the water I got. Would you drink that? I wouldn't drink it. But I would if it's filtered. So let's filter it. Okay. Pour it right on in there. Right on. Now we can just watch it filter through. And it's going to be so clean. See this up here? The river rudder really isn't too bad. It's pretty clear. It does have quite a bit of particulate in it though. So, oops. We're just going to let it filter. As many gallons as I can get in here is what we're going to do. I may have to go back to the river a couple times, but that's okay. Uh, this will hold, I thought it was eight gallons. I think it's actually only six gallons. So I may only have to go back one more time, maybe twice. We'll see. Laundry is done and it is hanging up. I love it. I love it. I love it. Nobody can see it from back where I'm at. Just got a few things done. I didn't do all the laundry I had. I have a few more pieces to do, but uh, I don't know. I don't feel like doing them today. So I've got this hanging and that's the rinse water. And the wash water is over there. Um, you know what? I might see if I can use that to kind of scrub some parts on my van. But for right now, looks like I need to go get some more water. All right, this time it was a lot easier. All I did was tie a nice knot on the handle, long, long string, and I just tossed it out to where it's deepest and cleanest. And uh, I got a little, probably about the same amount, but the whole process was much easier. So I'm going to filter all of this too. It's still working, this filter is. So I don't know. I think maybe I need to make another one pretty soon. Um, and I will tell you, although this water I truly believe is safe to drink just out of the tank, and I do every once in a while, I usually use the water in this big tank because I don't change the water in this tank as often. Oh, here comes that yappy dog. Um, as often. I will use this for washing, for dishes, you know, for bathing. <gasps> Um, and I will also use it to make coffee, anything that I'm going to boil, that oh. sort of thing. Betty, come on, settle down. Oh. Anyways, yeah, let's let this uh, trickle down a little bit more oh. until I filled this, this tank. You know what, I'm going to see if I can get this streaked stuff down on the bottom cleaned with this soap from the laundry. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to find out. See that? I can scrub and scrub and scrub. And that streak, streaked part is not coming off at all. Not at all. It's like futile. Oh my goodness. It is not coming off at all. What is up with that? All right, let me, let me see if I get this other cleaner if that'll work. Hmm. All right, I got this Tough Stuff spray. Let's see if that works. Let's just spray a little part of it. Well, you know what? It's working. Oh my goodness. All righty. Wow. Looks like tough stuff it is. Well, just another day in Anne's tiny life. Anne's tiny van life. Awesome. It is, I think it's actually coming off. Let's, uh, let's rinse it a little bit here. It is, it is finally coming off. Oh my goodness. I get to clean those streaks off. Alrighty, I don't think I need to 
film myself doing all of that. I'm going to do it and I'll show you afterwards. This is what it looks like beforehand. Isn't that terrible? Hey, well, guess what? That spray that I got from this discount store, that super strong industrial spray, has cleaned the van. It looks great. Let me give you a closer look at it. Okay, um, it's hard for me to see because of the sun, but um, remember this was all streaked and all dirty. There was still some residue from some of the decals that took it all off. It also, let's see if I can get it in here for you. I don't know if this is going to come out or not, but there are no streaks anymore. The streaks are gone. The dirt is gone. And all it took is that spray and a little, you know, spongy thingy. And so I've done this whole side. And it looks great. I've done the back. I need to clean off that chrome. All I need to do is the front. And you know what? I want to get this fixed. Um, I bought it with it like that. I'm tired of it looking like that. Uh, just so you know, I am this close to quitting my job and just doing doing DoorDash, maybe Amazon Prime, doing something like that. I am, I've had it. I've had it. This job, they pay no mileage. They want me to drive for 40 minutes to have a meeting that will last two hours for no pay, no pay, and uh, they just want me to do it. You know, and I have actual patients that I need to see during the times that they want me to go to this meeting. The meeting could be rescheduled. The patients need to be the focus, and that's not what this is about. This, I guess, this is not what this company is about. So, um, God, I can't even see anything when I have my glasses on. I've been working. I think I'm going to quit my job today. I'm pretty sure I'm going to quit my job. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.